this is a video tutorial on updating the Garmin NXi package here uh, and the G6 Cirrus. I have downloaded all of the databases, obstacle, terrain, um, uh, nav databases, charts, safe taxi, airport, drive, all that stuff on this, uh, which I only need to do it on one card. So I ordered this off of Amazon and that should work out well. If you notice in the PFD, MFD, slots um, the number of cards is not really uh, uh, it, it, in the old systems uh, is not is uh, complicated so in the PFD these are empty and the MFD this reads engine data and believe it or not that's your flight stream 5 I'm gonna pull out both of these cards the engine data which is just a scan disk card and then I'm gonna pull out the Garmin flight stream 510 right here and put that down uh, and sit there I'm gonna take now my my card that has all of the database updates on and put it in the top right MFD. I'm going to go ahead now and turn on battery one and battery two or battery two and then battery one and let those go ahead and start updating. As soon as we start you're going to start to see that hey all this stuff is going to verify itself before it's use. You can press any key to continue. Firing up here and I'm going to choose my profile, go through enter, enter there, enter, and then go to the AUGS page, down to databases right here, and you'll start to see it says updating four databases. 33 seconds complete. We'll sit here and wait for that. So our databases are almost complete here, 75%, eight seconds left. And this should be nice and simple here. Four, three, it's like the shuttle countdown. Nice, excellent. So everything's all set. Now, the best part is, I don't have to come over to the batteries to turn this off to get a full cycle on this. I just come down here on this restart button. I'm gonna click that, say, air, the displays will restart in 10 seconds. I gotta head, just go ahead and override that, switch over to restart and everything's gonna fire up again, right? So we're gonna let this go. The airplane just kind of reset itself without having to turn the batteries off. And now if I go over to the AUGS page, scroll down all the way to the databases, we're gonna to start to see that everything should be all set. I haven't updated the, the flight charts quite yet. Uh, need to download that, it was taking a little bit longer, but the same procedure would work for that for flight charts or chart view, which are the jump charts. Nice and simple on keeping this thing updated. It's super simple, no more pressing, you know, putting cards in the PFD, and then the MFD, hitting uh, no, then yes. Real simple, one card, one database, one update, and it's all set. That's the power behind the MXI.